ago, and it is now official. The suspect is now indicted for murder, for murdering a woman and then dismembering her body. A grisly discovery last week in East New York, Brooklyn, part of a woman's body, her torso found in an abandoned shopping cart on the street. Now the suspect, 83-year-old Harvey Marcelin, who identifies as a transgender woman, is suspected of murdering and dismembering the victim. She has already been charged with concealing a body. Police say it happened here at Marcelin's apartment in Cypress Hills, Brooklyn. Investigators found a human head in her apartment. It is a brand new apartment building. Some of the tenants have moved here from shelters. A great deal of apartments here are vacant. You know, as you know, this is not a lot of people coming upstairs and downstairs. And But you're shocked by what's happened. Absolutely, absolutely. And the suspect is no stranger to killing. Her New York State prison record shows Marceline shot and killed her live-in girlfriend in 1963 and was sentenced to 20 years to life. About 20 years later, in 1984, she was freed on lifetime parole. Then, about a year later, in 1986, she killed again, stabbing another live-in girlfriend. In 2019, she was released from state prison. And now she is the prime suspect in the murder of another woman and dismembering her body. Court records in 1962 show Marceline was hospitalized and evaluated. Quote, the hospital record does contain the phrases delusional grandiosity, suggestions of chronic schizophrenia, and paranoid reaction personality. This is a complicated case. This is an extraordinary case. Professor Lewis Schlesinger is with John Jay College of Criminal Justice. His expertise is deviant behavior, and he shared his opinion as to why someone who killed two people would be released from prison for a second time. The major aspect of this case that I think is so unusual is his age. And I think it's probably because of this individual's age in his 80s that probably people in prison consider this non-threatening. <sighs> and tonight, the suspect, Harvey Marcelin, is being held without bail at Rikers. We wondered... Okay, so... I was going to try my best to uh, not do this story, but I got this sent this story from so many people. And I usually, you know, sometimes if I get sent the story one time, I, I'll, you know, if it's something that appeals to me, I'll talk about it. If not, I'll just go past it. But I got this story sent to me on Twitter I, in my Twitter DMs. I got it sent to my Instagram DMs. On Patreon, it was posted into the Discord. It was everywhere. It's almost like like they were saying, Torian, you really need to talk about this story. And this story is so violently gruesome that it could be in the category of a Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, I say in a category, but not as bad as Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't think anybody can do as bad as he could. But then again... There is Ed Gein, but that's a whole that's a whole nother monster. And literally. So you have this person right here whose name is Harvey Messelin. They are I'm sorry, Harvey Marcelin. They are 83 years of age out of New York. And this person has quite the track record or the quite the murder record based on what they said. But in case y'all didn't hear it, this said this person is a two time convicted killer. They spent 50 years in prison. They back in 1963 killed their girlfriend that that they were living with. Got sentenced to life, 20 years to life. Got released in '84. I don't know why. Uh, got it reduced to manslaughter. I'm guessing if that, I'm reading that correctly. No, they went back to jail for manslaughter, and then got released in 2019, and then killed someone else this year and like the person said in the video the thing that shocks them the most outside of the fact that this person committed these crimes is not a not fact that this person identifies as trans while doing it, but we're gonna get on that but their age this person is 83 and they committed this very heavy intense violent gruesome grotesque disgusting every other dark negative word that i can't think of that's in the d dictionary or roger's the source against another person they said that this person this harvey marcelin person dismembered this woman's body they found her head separated from her body i think they said they found her head inside of a um 
a shopping cart. Like, that is crazy. This is a picture of, now, I, don't, I think this might be a slightly older picture because I've seen other pictures of this Harvey Marcelin person, and they look so absolutely decrepit. And so, they look so weird, even outside of this picture right here. Because there's a picture I think they took of them. I don't know if this if they took them inside of the cell. But the the Harvey person doesn't have the wig on. Like they have they like they got some glasses on. They almost look like and, and I hope that I'm not saying this to be funny, but in one of these pictures, Harvey Marcelin with the glasses on looks like they're related to Chris Bosch. Or some thing out of the ostrich family. Cause I swear this person looks very bird like. But that's that is insane. That this person sh who should have not been out of jail should have been in jail. And they also said another reason why they probably let this person out is because they felt, oh, this person is no, they're, they're, el they're an, el an elder. They're an elderly. There's no way that a person like this could ever commit a crime like that. As we can see, that is far from true. I saw a comment somewhere that said after reading something like this, I don't trust anybody who was, who was, uh, up in age, not even my own grandparents. Now I think they were embellishing with the grandparents part, but then again, you never know because some families crazy and they will do some heinous things. But this, like I said, the thing that shocked me, just like it shot the person that was speaking, was the fact that this person is eighty three and committed this kind of crime. And to go back to the part when I was talking about, you know, trans. I wonder what the trans community in, in them in particular has to say about this. Cause it's funny. They love to talk about how everybody else is attacking them and they love to go into a state of victimhood. But here you have this person who is a multiple convicted felon, like has a couple of bodies under their belt. And actually in, in the person they killed was a, an, uh, as far as I know, a natural born woman. So I'm curious to know or find out if I ever do what the trans community has to say about this, because this is one of their own right here. I'm, I just want to know. Will that, uh, misogyny talk leave their mouths or are they are they going to turn a blind eye to this too and see this would be perfect for them because this harvey marcelin person appears to be very melanated i don't know what they identify race wise but they look very melanated so they can kill a couple of birds with some stones with this one if they ever decide to pursue it but yeah, this this is a wild, wild story right here for a multitude of reasons. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you are new, make sure you hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video or go live.